It's never going to be easy. I think you also learn from adversity. I mean, you learn, it's, it's fun to win a game with that adversity. Let's uh, jump back to the game now. Third quarter, Bowling Green with the football first, and the Falcons uh, proved that they were going to hang around in this one. They come out, uh, coach, and, and, and move that ball downfield, scored a touchdown, and would extend the lead to 14 points. And here's a look at some of their drives. She and here to Chris Wright for eight yards. Yeah, this is the one point, the one time in the game I was disappointed in our, in our, in our defense. Because we really need to come out and make a statement in the second half, and we come out and and, and they changed their game plan though. You know, if you have to, people have to understand that they came and just they methodically because we weren't doing well on offense. They just ate clock up, and you know, you know, we're not doing very well on offense, and so they're just kind of just methodically getting you know first down after first down after first down, and uh, before you know it, you know, we had some missed tackles and they made some good plays and they ended up getting a touchdown. This is uh, Freddie Barnes, the receiver they lined up uh, really at the quarterback spot, took that direct snap and had a big gain there. So, you know, they had nice players. She in it, quarterback, Barnes, receiver, G to the running back. I thought were all pretty impressive players, and they were effective here as they get down close to the goal line. Well, yeah, we had a third and one right there, and, and you got to play really tight coverage down there. And, and we have a young corner out there that didn't play tight coverage, so we're going to learn from it and get, get better. And the bottom line, they got the ball in. They got it in. So it's 20-6 to six, Bowling Green. And that drive took more than five minutes off the third quarter clock. So here come the Tigers now getting to work later in the third quarter. Blaine Gabbard at the controls and, and starting to move this offense downfield. Well, this is kind of, you know, you're, you're down 20 to 6. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a three-score three game, two to tie. Uh, you know, it's a gut check time. And, you know, you got to get going. And uh, this is where we started getting going. And, and uh, we started making some plays, started executing. Uh, we're not getting penalties. We're not turning the ball over. You know things that you do to stop yourself, and there's a nice throw to Daniel Alexander. Uh, Wayne had you know a lot of time to throw the football and fired it in there. Yeah, that was some pass, and, and you're right. It was much more mistake-free half in the second than it was in the first. And uh, what do you know? The results were there. We saw Kendall Lawrence uh, come into the game, freshman, true freshman out of Texas. Boy, has he got some speed. Yeah, he's got some speed, quickness. He's got great quickness too. So. He's going to be a really good football player and a really great addition to our football team. 12 yards there, and then, of course, it's the veteran Derek Washington for 24. And you looked to be a little more committed to the run, just seemed to run the ball more in the second half, and we're very effective that way. Well, just because we, we just got a, you know, we just <laughs> we got a couple first downs, you know. <laughs> it worked. So we can run more than three plays. So uh, big, big play. We got the ball downfield a little bit, too. Yeah. I thought they were squatting on us a little bit. I think as coaches, maybe we could have done some things to help the, the first half that we didn't do. Uh, we're going to analyze that too, but that was a big, big throw and catch um, by Blaine and uh, uh, JP. And the defense then uh, just continues to play very well throughout this second half. Uh, Bowling Green, all of a sudden, it got a lot tougher for the Falcons as you see this tackle. Look at him run down that spoon, of course, uh, from his linebacker spot. Yeah, that was a big, that was a third and nine. They got the ball right back to us. We got the momentum. And great job by Spoon. That, that's, a, that's a very tough uh, play. And, Fortunately, we get the ball back again. So, you know, it's 2013. We just drove down before and got a touchdown. Now we get the ball back again. Now you get some momentum going too. And, and uh, now I think, uh, you know, we're getting the upper hand at the line of scrimmage too because we're having continuity. We're, we're, we're driving the ball. We're getting off the field. Yeah, Washington running. He picks up 10 yards and Kendall Lawrence in there as well. Had some gains. And here's Gabbert now to, to throw. And eventually he'll take off and run. And, and these are a couple of big plays. Washington had a third and one run, and Gabbard on third and seven keeps it going. Well, what happened was it was a screen to, to D. Wash, and he fell down. That's not really good if your quarterback he falls down, <laughs> but you make the best out of it. And you learn from that, and he got six yards on it. And then fortunately, uh, you know, we had a fourth and one, and we get six yards there too. You get a play action. Again, we go deep with the football. It's a perfect throw and a great catch by West Kemp. And, uh, uh, again, we, you know, that's back-to-back -back scores. We got momentum. We're not stopping ourselves. We're getting continuity. We're getting some first downs and uh, getting the running and passing game working together. So uh, uh, I think it's a combination of a lot of different things. Well, it showed a little option there. You talked about them squatting on you, ready for that yeah, run, we which ran, is and we ran right by the guy. The Twice right we did. Him. So, yep. you know, I think what happens is you struggle a little bit. You have a tendency not to throw it downfield because you want to get first downs. Here's a huge, huge play by Alden Smith. Uh, minus 18 yards, and that was huge. You talk about lost yardage. I mean, you're losing almost a fifth. Well, of the football again, field. that's an experienced quarterback too. And you know, Blaine, you know, got the ball knocked out. That guy should have thrown the football away. But uh, uh, just a great, great play. Now, now we get the ball back as the next drive. Yep. Here you come again, Gabbert to the tight end, Andrew Jones for a five-yard pickup. Then it's back to the ground attack. 
Washington and Lawrence will see on consecutive plays 10 yard gains. Well, you know, we got it, you know, we're, we're executing now. You know, we're doing the things necessary that we weren't doing the first half. And, uh, um, you know, got some momentum going too. And uh, that's Kendall Warren. Kendall's going to stay on his feet. That's a really nice run by a, by a true freshman uh, who's going to be a real good player here for Mizzou. How about this run after the catch by Denario Alexander? Well, he's just, you know, you forget, you know, you forget how good athlete is. What a remarkable effort. He almost got his, uh, got his, uh, the ball in the end zone. And we come back and just good blocking at the point of attack and, and uh, D. Wash uh, gets a score and that's the third score right in a row. I think uh, someone said we scored three touchdowns in a 10 minute period of time. Yep, the um, second half explosion. You go from the 14 point deficit to the seven point lead and that defense there to finish off uh, things. Uh, you know, Weatherspoon, we, we've said it all about him already. We'll continue to say it. He is just all over the field, game after game. Well, yeah, and he should be. I mean, that's, that's, that's a good a player he is and those are the kind of plays you should make. And, uh, this is a this this is the last play right here, and uh, uh, Trey Hobson uh, they, he thought he intercepted it, but it was, it was a, a good comeback win for us. This week's Missouri Employers Mutual Player of the Week is the junior running back Derek Washington. He carried the ball 23 times for 120 yards and one touchdown. The final score of the game in Mizzou's 27 to 20 win over Bowling Green. Missouri Employers Mutual, the state's number one provider of workers' compensation insurance.